We are here at uh, Quittenbaum in the cellar of our showroom and uh, standing right in front of a small collection of nice uh, electrical appliance um, objects that are um, being auctioned off tomorrow in one of our uh, big uh, modern design sales. Um, the market for uh, electrical appliances in uh, particular for radios and stereos from, from the 1950s, 60s, uh, 70s, and also um, calculators uh, um, and typewriters uh, from, from that time. It's a very small market, but it's uh, more and more, um, it's maturing more and more. It come, there are more and more players, there are more and more collectors who are actually interested in these particular items. Um, probably also because most of these items were um, um, designed by the um, already well-known designers, architects uh, of that time. Um, maybe to start with, we uh, should have a look at uh, a small radio, which was actually designed in the U.S by Charles Eames. It uh, was made, uh, was built, designed in the uh, end, uh, mid and 40s. And um, you, can, you can actually see uh, Charles Eames uh, in here because um, it's made out of plywood. It's, um, it's a lightweight uh, radio, no Bakelite anymore. It has some nice plastic here. It's not a Bakelite anymore. Here's still some Bakelite, but in general it's, uh, it's made out of plywood, one of the preferred materials um, of, of uh, Charles and Raheem's uh, in the end, mid-end 40s uh, and 50s. Everybody knows the uh, famous um, Eames lounge chair and the, um, the DCW um, and LCW chairs that were also made out of plywood. Here we do have three objects two of them by the company Brian Vega, as I pointed out, which is one a very famous portable TV by the name of Al Gol, which was designed by Marco Zanuso together with Richard Sepper. Richard Sepper actually originally was born in Munich and uh, I think he studied even in Munich, but then moved to um, Italy uh, to work there together with the really well-known um, designers and architects. This uh, was uh, the most famous TV, portable TV at the time, uh, by the name of Algol. A little portable radio was also made by, or designed by Marco Zanuso and Hans von Klier. Um, this is this little radio, which you could take with you everywhere. It even had a little handle where you could take it with you. It runs with batteries and it also runs with electric current. Um, nowadays, you probably find some, some um, iPod, uh, iPad or um, iPhone docking stations uh, which uh, kind of resemble these designs from the 1960s a bit. I think um, that uh, Jonathan Ive is probably influenced not, not only by uh, Dieter Rams but also by the 1960s Italian designs. Very smart, very clever, very nice from the design. Timeless, elegant and portable. Sticking to the radios or radio devices and the company Brion Vega, we have this super interesting uh, radio, um, this time designed by Achille Castiglioni, one of the star designers, architects over decades um, in Italy from starting in the, in the 30s, uh, 40s, 60s and even 70s. He's one of the very big names. Um, this is a radio, it almost looks like a, um, like a 
computer nowadays. So again, you can tell that uh, the designers these days are still inspired by designs from the 1960s, 70s. Um, it has the company name up here. It's, it's a full metal body. Um, and it was actually a cable radio. You could not really uh, search for the stations, but you had preset fixed stations. You had to plug it into the wall uh, in order to get cable radio. A relatively typical Italian thing from the 1960s, 70s. Uh, nowadays, I think uh, you cannot even find it in Italy anymore. A beautiful design, a timeless piece. Um, definitely a collector's item.